Today, Espen presented to us a educational speech for the successful club series to help us to become better club members. How many of you think you can become a better club member after hearing? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Nothing I, I liked what you did, Espen, was how you personalized it and how you made it genuine and how you made it you. I'll first start with the way you came into the room and you confidently came up to this lecture and when it was your turn to speak. Not when you called it speaking, but you waited. And you confidently came up here to the lectern, you placed your computer on the lectern, and you showed us what you were to show us. Now, one thing you can work on is, or one thing actually you have an amazing opportunity to work on, is to improve your timeliness today. Now, that's not nice, but always for this lovely Espen, this timeliness of getting here. Timeliness, pardon me. I will, I will be more, what's the word, enunciate. So, you have about an hour to get here? Uh, it took me an hour to get there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you did well, though, was let others know about your, your belated time arrival, so we knew what was going on. One thing that I'd like you also to look at is how you You know what? That's the only thing I want you to do. Work on the time with us. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is about you and it's not about me. So, the last thing that I would like to say that you did very well was despite the kerfuffle of getting here late is that you made this your own and you made it espionized and you gave us humor and you helped us to see that even though we have high standards to meet and to be able to be members of Toastmasters, we are always becoming. And you show us that it's attainable. We don't have to be exactly like Julie. We don't have to be exactly like Greg, even though they are very exemplary <laughs> members. I do not want to take away from what they've done. I say I think you're doing a great job, Espen. Keep up the good work. Okay. Master value. <laughs>